Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this boolean function f and we have been asked to find its minimized expression in the product of some form. So first of all, let us minimize this expression using the k map. So if you see this expression f, then it is given in the sum of product form and here all the product terms are the mean terms. That means this expression is in the canonical SOP form. So first of all, let us map all the mean terms in the k map. So here, this cell represents a bar dot b bar dot c bar. So let us put one in this cell. Similarly, this a bar dot b dot c bar corresponds to this cell. Likewise, this a dot b bar dot c bar corresponds to this cell, while this a dot b dot c corresponds to this cell, and likewise. This a dot b dot c bar corresponds to this cell. That means whatever mean terms are present in the function, we will put the one in those cells. And now let us try to minimize this expression. So to minimize this expression, we will make the group of ones which is in the power of two or four. So here, as you can see, we can make the group of these fours, and this is the second group. So if we take this first group. Then in this case, both the variables a and b are changing, while this variable c remains fixed. That means this group corresponds to c bar. Similarly, if we see this second group, then in this group, the variable a and b is not changing, while the variable c is changing. That means this group corresponds to a dot b. So overall, if we see then the minimized expression is equal to c bar plus a b. So this expression is still in the sum of product form. But if you carefully see, then using the distributive law, we can convert it into the product of some form. So we can write this expression as c bar plus a dot c bar plus b. So in this way, now this expression is in the product of some form. Now in this case, using the distributive law, it was possible to convert the expression into the product of some form. But every time, it is not possible to use the distributive law. So now let me show you the general procedure for converting any expression into the minimized product of some form. So here, we can put the zero in those cells which is not present in this function. Now if we take the complement of this function, then it will contain those mean terms which is not present in this function, right? So if we see the k map of the f bar, then it will contain these three mean terms. So now let us try to minimize this function. So in this case, we can make the group of these two ones and similarly, we can make the group of these two ones. So if we consider this first group, then in this group, the variable a and c is not changing. The value of variable a is equal to 0, while the value of variable c is equal to 1. Therefore, this group represents a bar dot c. Similarly, if we consider this second group, then in this group, the variable b and c is not changing. And here, the value of variable b and c is 0 and 1. Therefore, this group represents b bar dot c. So if you see the overall minimized function, then this function f bar is equal to b bar dot c plus a bar dot c. So now to find the expression in the product of some form, once again let us take the complement of this function. That means f double bar will be equal to f and that is equal to the complement of this b bar dot c plus a bar dot c. And using the de Morgan's law, we can write this expression as b plus c bar dot a plus c bar. So now if you see this function, then it is in the product of some form. So this is the general procedure for converting any boolean function into the minimized product of some form. So in this case, the minimized POS form of expression is equal to b plus c bar dot a plus c bar. And therefore, for the given question, this C is the correct answer.